Welcome on to yet another edition of Run with Coach Perry. My name is Brad Brown. It's good to have you with us. We've got the coach with us once again, Lindsay Perry. How's it, Lindsay? All good, Brad. All good. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, Lindsay, we've got a a nutrition-based question today, uh, and it's got to do with training in a fasted state and fat oxidization. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for this video. Before we get into that, though, we mentioned last week that we are pretty excited about the brand new Coach Perry online community uh, and uh, the relaunch of it. It's the 2.0 version. We've been doing it for a while, but we've really stepped up our game, and uh, you now have access to our entire life library of training programs. You also get access to the coaches, Lindsay and the rest of our coaches in the forums. And the cool part about it is it all links up to Strava. So your training, you can get on your phone uh, and you can access all that stuff. It's literally like having a coach in your pocket. Uh, Go check it out. Coachparry.com forward slash join. That's where you can find out all the details. There are a whole bunch of running programs in there too. So pretty much all the programs we've been selling on our website, you now get access to uh, as part of the deal. Everything uh, is there and you get access to it right away. So go check it out coachparry.com forward slash join. Lindsay, it's a question I've also wondered often because sometimes you wake up in the morning and you don't necessarily have time for breakfast and you're going out for a quick 10k and you run on an empty stomach. But obviously for race day, things are slightly different. Are there any benefits to to running in a fast or training in a fasted state uh, and racing for that matter? And and talk to us a little bit about fat oxidization. And and, I mean, there's a lot of science behind it, but is there a benefit to training that way? Yeah, so look, I, I have done a bit of reading on it and, and not enough, to be completely honest, Brad. So, And, and I guess partly because I'm not a, a fan of, of doing it on myself particularly, but certainly in cycling there's been a, a lot of um, research that's gone into doing this type of faster training um, and, they, and, and that is a, a world where, where there's a, a big belief on it. So... There are certainly benefits, and the, or there are certainly proposed benefits, and I think there is enough research to show that those benefits do exist. Um, I just don't really like the way that it, it, it makes me feel. Um, it does. I feel pretty flat, and I don't really enjoy the run, so um, I don't go that route. But uh, I guess in terms of, of weight loss, absolutely, um, it makes perfect sense. Essentially, what what happens is that your body gets um, forced to use carbohydrates more sparingly. Um, it will break down some of your body's uh, proteins and put you into something called uh, ketosis because we do need um, <clears throat> some little carbon structures to burn fats. Uh, but the body will use a small amount of that and then it will use a, a large amount of fat. So, so there, there probably are some really good benefits to um, fat loss. What would be important for me is that after that, um, unless you want to stay in a, in a permanent state of ketosis, um, which would then mean over the long term depriving yourself of, of carbohydrates all the time, um, it is an, a, a really effective way of losing weight, but it's not a great performance um, state to be in. So there have been loads of proposed um, advantages to it for when performing uh, endurance events but carbohydrates are still our octane fuel so for me even in distances up to a race like comrades uh, when you are in a state of ketosis or or, or training on a uh, and and living on a low carb sort of diet uh, the the consistent feedback i always get from people is that they they feel great and they feel healthy but they cannot go into those performance zones. So they become like a really super efficient diesel tractor that can go forever but can't go um, very fast. And so for me, from from a performance point of view, absolutely not the way to go. Um, But from a weight loss point of view, yes, I can see the benefits and I can see the benefits in particular of doing the very low intensity um, long distance runs in in a fasted state. But then I must say that afterwards, I think it's quite important to fuel properly to bring yourself out of that um, ketosis, but without binging. Because if you binge, once you once you put yourself into that sort of ketotonic state, you also your body goes into a little bit of a fasting state or a famine state. And what then happens when you overdo it on the other side is that your body will hold on to all the excess. 
and store it back as fat and keep it for a rainy day. Um, so afterwards, get in uh, enough carbs just to replenish those glycogen stores, get in a good amount of protein so that your body can uh, repair the, the damage that was done to the, the, the protein stores, which are your, your muscles, um, and then eat just enough to satiate yourself and be quite disciplined about your eating for the, for the rest of that day so that you don't binge. Absolutely. Well, uh, yeah, it's a great question, Lindsay. And, and obviously, as much as you know, a fair whack about sports nutrition, it's not your forte. Uh, but the good news is we do have a sports nutritionist in the Coach Perry online community, which uh, can answer those sorts of questions. Uh, so all you need to do is go check it out. Uh, head over to coachperry.com forward slash join if you'd like to find out more. Uh, and someone else is doing uh, amazing things. He's working hard on his nutrition too, is Hobbo. Uh, Lindsay, you're working with Hobbo at the moment and we, we've been chatting to him uh, in, in the build-up to his very first Ironman 70.3, all part of his hashtag Biogen journey. And uh, if you want to find out more about what Hobbo is doing and some other people who are on their own Biogen journeys, you can check out our podcast. I'll put the link uh, below this video as well. And if you'd like to be part of the journey, let us know what you're training for, what you would like to train for, and we'll help you get there. You can win access to the Coach Barry online community. All you need to do is use the hashtag Biogen Journey uh, on the socials. We'll pick it up there, and we'll be announcing uh, winners on the podcast. So go check out the podcast as well. That's hashtag Biogen Journey if you'd like to be part of it all. Until next time, from myself, Brad Brown, and the coaches, cheers.